Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Node.js tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will talk about events module in Node.js and how we can use event emitter in Node.js, we will also see. So much of the Node.js core API is built around uh, event driven architecture, which means that uh, because we know that uh, Node.js runs uh, itself in an asynchronous manner. So it's necessary to have some kind of event driven uh, architecture because uh, for example, you if you are reading uh, data from a database, so once uh, your data is read from a database, uh, you need to trigger some event. Otherwise, uh, if your code is blocking and it's not, uh, you know, a asynchronous, then your uh, server execution will be blocked until the data is fetched from the database, right? So we have event in uh, Node uh, API, which help us to, uh, you know, for example, same example, you want to fetch a data from the database, you write a function for this. And as soon as you, uh, you know, you are done with reading of the data from the database, uh, the code triggers an event. So your code will run asynchronously and it's not stopping. And as soon as uh, some function is done, an event can be triggered and uh, the execution can be done or it can be, you know, the data can be sent to the client, for example, right? So let's see how we can use events and events emitter in Node.js. So to use uh, events, just write var events is equal to require this keyword events, right? Now in order to create uh, emitter, you need to call a method called event emitter, right? So you need to create an, uh, an instance of a new event emitter object. Okay, so just write uh, var event emitter is equal to new events and then call an event emitter on uh, this object, right? So with a capital E, right? So this will create an instance of uh, event emitter, okay? And using this event emitter, you can create an event or listener for the event and then you can also emit an event and the listener will listen to that event. So how you can create a listener, you can just write uh, event emitter object and then there is a method called on. And for example, uh, you if you are uh, writing a UI, something clicked, for example, some uh, button is clicked. This is like a listener to uh, your uh, you know button click. So you can here write a keyword, for example, clicked. So this will be uh, the listener. And whenever this keyword called clicked is emitted, then this method, which is a callback function here, will be called. And whatever code inside this callback function will be executed. So this is kind of a listener. So let's say, there is a, a, you know, this keyword clicked and we will emit this keyword using event emitter once again. So just use event emitter dot emit and simply you can just call this keyword, which means that this event is triggered. For example, clicked is triggered. And here you can use any keyword. So for example, if you are fetching data from the database, you can just write uh, query here, or if you want to add some data, you can just write add. The keyword depend upon you. So whatever keyword uh, you uh, want to use here as a first argument, it's a keyword and whatever keyword, uh, you know, you emit, if it's the same as the listener keyword, then this code inside this callback function will be triggered. So let's see how we can uh, use it. So for example, I will just console uh, log something. So just write console dot log and I will say 
something is clicked okay so let's try to run our code now if you are using visual studio code there is a trick to open a terminal inside your visual studio code editor itself and the way you can do it you can just press Control shift p and it will give you this kind of a box and here just type a toggle integrated terminal and here you can run your um, code again and you can see we are already in the same folder in this terminal so we just need to write uh, node app.js and run it and you can see something is clicked so basically what's happening here is whenever you emit this keyword then this listener will listen for this keyword and then the method or callback function will be called and whatever code you will write here will be executed okay so this is the basic functionality of uh, event emitters now in here you can also pass some argument with uh, this emit method so for example you want to pass some uh, text so you can just pass for example button one okay and instead of uh, this you can just uh, pass a function for example button and then you can just call button here plus and then instead of something we uh, will call button one is clicked okay so this is an argument which will be passed here you can pass any number of argument uh, you want here and just uh, pass the same argument here the, the, this you know value will be passed to this button right if it has the second argument then the second uh, value will be passed to the second argument so you can pass some argument also like this and once again when you run the code it says button one is clicked okay so you can also pass arguments here now let's take a little bit more advanced example now for this example we will need for example a utils uh, module which is also a core module here so just write uh, util here is equal to require util and using util it has uh, so many functionality and uh, the functionality which we are uh, going to use from this util is the inherit function or inherits uh, you know method from it so there is a method in util so just write util and then call a method called inherit so and then it takes two argument first is the class which you want to inherit in so first is the class which is inheriting right so we need to create some uh, for example um, object in order to inherit from event emitter so let's create an object so we will just create an object called students and this student have this function which will take the name of the student and then it will assign this name to the student itself so just write this dot name which is the name uh, or the member of the student and it will be assigned by this uh, name which is passed through this function right now as i said utils have this method called inherit and uh, it takes two argument first is the class or or the object of the class which wants to inherit so this is like a uh, class which is inheriting and the second is the object which is the base class for example so from the class which you want to inherit so we want to inherit from this event emitter okay now this is really good uh, thing about event emitter we don't need this uh, bracket here and we also don't need this here right so now 
if you know the concept of inheritance what happens in inheritance is the class which is inheriting have the access to the methods and the members of the class from which it's inheriting so student have the access to for example on method or emit method or whatever method public method which are there in this event emitter class for example right so now what we can do here is we can create some student for example student one can be max is equal to new student and we can give the name uh, here max okay so this argument is max in this first case right now whenever we call this object now this object also have the access to a method called on right which we have called using this event emitter instance because students is inheriting uh, this event emitter therefore this object of uh, the student also have the access to this method and you can simply uh, use this uh, you know method as we have done earlier so this students for example uh, we can uh, just give the keyword scored and then we can uh, just pass the anonymous function or callback here and we can uh, just pass uh, some something like marks here right and we can console log it so just write console log and then we can uh, console log for example first of all the name of uh, the object for example max dot name and then we can just right here scores and the marks he scores so the marks are here okay we can print this and then we can emit this event right in real life situation you can do uh, this emit on uh, for example receiving da some data from the database or connected collect connecting to a client whenever connection is successful something like this but uh, here for example I can just write uh, max dot emit and then this keyword called uh, scored and the second will be if you remember the argument here can be uh, the value of uh, argument uh, this argument can be passed from here right so we can just say 95 marks okay and let's uh, run our code again just save the program and run the code again and here it says max scores 95 right or uh, and we can just write something like marks also here so we know that he scores this much amount of marks and once again run the code and now it says max codes uh, 95 marks right now in the same way you can create a second uh, second event something like this so instead of uh, max we can just say the second student is Tom right and the name you pass here also and instead of uh, max you just essentially replace max by Tom this is our second student right and uh, this time Tom scores for example 60 marks okay so once again when you run the code you can just see mark scores 95 marks and Tom scores 60 marks okay so in this way you can use uh, events and event emitters in node.js i hope you enjoyed this video please write comment subscribe and bye for now